Yeah, what we've got here, one of dozens of families that are still cleaning up a good 12 hours after this part of the neighborhood got inundated with far more rain than the sewer system could handle. The water you see flowing through the Dye family's home is the result of flooding, but this is actually the scene after they'd cleaned up most of the mess. This is it beforehand. Mud everywhere. Their basement kitchen, the hallway, the bathroom. This is like insane. Yeah, because this is now flooding zone. It should be like safe. It shouldn't have any water or anything, but now look at the car. And the car is moved by the water. This is what 160th Street near 24th Road in Whitestone, Queens looked like at 5 in the morning. Most of the homes here have finished basements that got hit hard, just like they did a year ago when rains from Hurricane Ida dumped a month's worth of rain in an hour's time. They desperately need help. We're not only asked for help for this year, but we're hoping somebody can fix the, according to the neighborhood, maybe the sewer problem, there, there's some problem, but it has to be fixed so they don't have the same problem next year. The city's sewer system can handle 1.75 inches of rain per hour. This part of the system could not. And there's no easy fix, but general maintenance twice a year is certainly something we need to examine and look into. To prevent more scenes like this, the city is building a network of 11,000 rain gardens that it says will soak up 2,500 gallons of water each. But for people here today, whose van, garage, and basement are a total loss, they say they need more help now. Last year I had seven feet of water in my house. Now I have almost five feet of water in my house. And then to have all my belongings out in the street like this, it's adding insult to injury. The mayor needs to take notice. He needs to be here. And the mayor's office did issue this statement this evening saying last night's storm showed why we need to continue to find new ways to handle intensifying storms and why our administration is dedicated to making the city more resilient to the storms we know are on the way as a result of climate change. The city has proposed a $1.9 billion flood prevention program and has targeted money, that $1.9 billion, toward that effort. It also says that it will have a comprehensive climate resiliency program put out in April. Meanwhile, families like the folks on this street say they don't want to wait any longer.